Hi guys, hope you're doing good and welcome back to the Watch Design Academy YouTube channel. So today we have a very interesting video that I think a lot of you guys will actually like it and find it very useful. So because what we will be talking about today is this watch right here. I'm not sure how much you are, you are able to see it on camera, but this particular watch is the watch that I've designed myself and got it produced. Today, what I will be talking about is uh, the specifications of this specific watch, what kind of watch it is, what got me to actually design it, uh, what was my plan with this watch, and what is the most important thing, how much did it actually cost me to get it produced. For anybody watching this YouTube channel for the first time, let me introduce myself. My name is Dominic and I am the founder of watchdesignstudio.com and watchdesignacademy.com and I've been working as a watch designer for seven years now working with micro brands, mostly micro brands and people that are getting into the industry and actually starting their own watch brand. I also have a partner in the business and we specialize as well in CGI renders and 3D video animations that we create for brands when they need uh, social media content or anything like that. But me personally, I am all about watch design. And that is why I created my own watch design school called watchdesignacademy.com. And also why I created this uh, YouTube channel, just so I can create and post as many videos as I can and have time for and to actually deliver you guys as much value as possible uh, regarding the watch micro brand space, uh, watch business. And I rather just share here everything that I know and all the experience that I've gained being in the watch industry and learning from different brands and also uh, working as a watch designer. So yeah, that is a little bit more about me. Without further ado, let's get right into the video and jump in. This is the watch in question regarding the specifications of the watch let me actually show you the back side because it's very cool right it has a very nice engraving it's not something out of the ordinary and my goal with this watch was to basically create a diver that looks like any other diver but at the same time does not really because it has a very different sort of hour markers hands are not your normal submariner style hands the bezel as you can see is quite different than any other bezel out there and it's just a very very weird looking watch but at the same time it is actually extremely extremely comfortable probably the most comfortable watch I have worn so far right there are some changes that I would like to actually make it before I actually launch my watch brand even though I don't know when exactly that will be the case is not extremely big the case diameter is 39 millimeters so it's not a very very big watch a uh, key design point as you can see it has slightly rounded case right here and on here and that was ins actually inspired by a Patek Philippe Naut Nautilus case and yeah I wanted to bring that out in a diver watch fashion and mix it with your normal style case uh, as well and also you can see it has a crown at four o'clock so it doesn't protrude too much out and the thickness of the watch is actually 11.4 millimeters from top of the crystal to bottom of the case back so it's not really a very thick watch lock to lock width is 45.9 millimeters to be exact the bracelet width is 20 millimeters so the lock width is 20 millimeters and the bracelet tapers to 16 millimeters uh, across and as you can see it has a on the fly adjustment as you can see it has the on the fly adjustment right here so yeah it's a very 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 nicely specced out watch of course it's 316 l stainless steel it also has a screw down crown on four o'clock as i mentioned it has a bgw9 loom on the bezel and the dial as well the crystal is sapphire box crystal not sure if you can see but it's quietly uh, it's it's actually raised uh, quite a bit uh, from the top of the bezel insert. It has an H-link bracelet, the bigger links uh, satin brushed finished and the middle ones are actually polished. And on the back of the clasp, what I would actually change is to have this, this surface brushed as well because it just gets very scratchy, right? And I don't like that. So I'd rather just have it brushed as well here with, where it has uh, the logo. And I would actually make the logo a smaller. I have a completely new design for the actual logo. 
but yeah that is the actual watch and as you can see the bezel is actually two tone from uh, uh from uh, 60 minute mark or 12 o'clock to 20 minute mark it has a gray finish and i also have uh, some other dial variations I, and i have one right here which i will show it to you guys now this is the other dial variation so you can see how it actually looks and i've probably shown this watch uh, uh but yeah i've i had a, a lot more uh variations of this watch and a lot more color variations of this watch but i gave them away so yeah i'm just gonna show you the design files and all the color variations that it came in let's go right into the desktop as you can see this is the design document that i've created for the manufacturer uh, along with all the 3D files, step files, uh, technical drawings and everything else. This is the spec sheet basically I created for the manufacturer so they can see all the color variations I want to have produced and uh, the movement that is powered by, I'm not sure if I mentioned the movement, but it's Miota Calibre 9039. It's normal, very, very normal movement. Uh, the bezel is actually ceramic. So that is also a very interesting thing. And yeah, as you can see, we have the black variation that you have seen and you also seen this one. And we also have dark blue, which actually looks the best. And we have the dark green and we also have like the white and orange. So yeah, those are the those are the variations that I've created and produced. And I'm going to tell you how much it all cost uh, at the end of the video. Let me actually guys show you the 3D model. Yeah. As you can see, this is the actual 3D model of the watch and it basically looks the same as the real watch. Nothing has pretty much changed. So yeah, that is the actual watch. Let me actually turn this off. I'll also show you the renders of the watch so you can see how I turned this model into the 3D renders, which uh, I also sent to the manufacturer. And as you can see on the 3D model, the colors don't really match. But uh, the, the biggest thing I'm proud of uh, is the actual case design because the case has those rounded edges right here and it just gives a, a unique look to the actual watch and usually on diver watches you see a normal bezel that has like markers right here there is a benefactor to that and that sort of bezel but i just wanted to create something a little bit different but not so much different that it just doesn't look like a diver at all right so as you can see the hour markers are also a little bit different this one is thicker this one is long then this one again is shorter then this one again is longer and it just gives a very nice harmony to the dial and as well you have a triangle right here at the bottom but yeah that is the actual design the case back nothing has pretty much changed everything is the same as the real watch and based on this 3d model i created the technical drawings of the watch and sent it over to the manufacturer and yeah based on that they produced the watch and i'm going to tell you how much it actually cost me let me actually show you the renders of the watch so here those were the dial variations this one is my favorite actually and the bezels different sorts of bezels let's go right here into the rendering files let me actually show you white and orange dial i used that same 3d model that you saw in the cat software to produce these sort of renderings and those renders i will be using a as a product images on the website once i actually start the brand if i actually start it because this watch is one of the six different models that i've designed uh, and this one is the second one that i've produced and i'm not sure still which ones uh which one do i want to launch the brand with and there is still a lot more work that's going on but at the same time i'm running watch design studio and the academy so i just don't have enough time to actually focus on the brand even though i really like the design and i think it could it could actually be very successful and i know i would make it successful but yeah those are the renders you can see the crown at four o'clock this render looks uh, actually really really good and yeah that is the watch let me actually show you the black one that you've seen in real life has a fume effect sunburst dial as well bgw9 yeah it's it's a very 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 handsome looking watch and it's not too big and it can fit almost any wrist size so as you can see this is the drawing of the bracelet <coughs> each of the links
and the technical drawings of the case. Those are not the actual technical drawings I created. Those are the ones that the man manufacturer created uh, after I sent him uh, the 3D files. So yeah. And that is a very big important thing. They got everything right from the first try because I've sent them all the 3D files, all the technical drawings I created, including the specification sheet that I created that you've that you've seen this one. And I also sent and I basically sent them all the files they need to be actually to actually be able to produce the watch. And if you just go to the manufacturer and you don't have any files prepared, you're just going into deep waters without without your uh, swimming shorts, I would say. But yeah, and now to the fun part, let me actually show you how much the watch actually cost to produce. So here we have the quotation from the manufacturer that I work with and that I use for all the models. As you can see, the, this is just the specification of the watch, nothing too complicated to understand. I produced six different samples. Sample cost per one watch was $1,700, uh, right? That is in US dollars. And then the actual bulk pro production price cost per piece, I would say is 130 uh, bucks and 80 cents. And that would be the cost for 300 pieces, right? So if you would be producing 300 pieces times 130.8, that would be 39,240 US dollars to produce 300 pieces. And then I would also add the cost for the boxes, for the packaging and all the other uh, fees that I have. And I would uh, sum it all up and that would be my Kickstarter funding goal, right? So yes, this is the price estimate. And here below, they've also included uh, the specification sheet that I've sent them and how much I paid for all six samples. So as you can see, there is six here under quantity. And this $1,700 that you can see right here was the cost to produce only one watch, right? That was the cost to produce only one watch. And the price for only one watch was $1,700 because they required molding, right? And that was the biggest cost. And then on top of those $1,700, I paid five times 130.8. So the total was for six samples. $2,354. That is what I paid. I got all of those six samples and I can tell you that this factory that you can see right here, uh, I recommend them to all my clients and anybody that's looking for a good quality manufacturer. And usually I only recommend this uh, manufacturer in the academy, but you've seen it right here as well. So yeah, this is how much it costs to produce a watch. But I also have one other thing to show you, and that is the packaging that I've designed for this watch and for this brand overall. Let's go here under box design, final renderings. And this is the design of the box. As you can see, these are all the components that are inside. So you can see some pictures. It's a very, I think this is a very good and appealing design that would not cost a lot to produce actually, and would still give a nice feeling uh, to the customer when actually unboxing the watch. And the cost for this sort of box design was right here. So as you can see here, this is the design I created and including, so you have the box size, box color, blah, 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 watch brochure that is also included, watch cleaning fabric is also included, uh, and warranty card and the brochure as well. As you can see here, the brochure is included and warranty card as well. So this same factory that produces all my watches and the watches for my clients and uh, for members inside the academy can also produce boxes for you. And the price for the actual sample, so for one sample, it was $200, right? And that is not uh, a lot for $200. Actually, it was six samples, sorry. The quantity was six. So it was $200 for one and then 
uh, it was five times 4.6 dollars for each of the boxes but i still haven't produced them because i didn't yet go ahead with the launch of the brand so yeah and but the the issue with this is it has minimum order quantity of 5000 pieces uh, of uh, 500 pieces <clears throat> so the cost per piece is when you for when you actually order bulk production the cost per piece is 4.6 dollars that means 4.6 times 500 2300 dollars plus the cost for the sample was 200 bucks so 2.5k dollars us dollars for 500 boxes yeah hopefully this video helps you understand a little bit more about the pricing for this sort of diver watch and yeah hopefully you've gotten some value out of this video if you're interested in learning to design your own watch please check out the link in the description of this video and i'll see you guys in the next one take care and ciao